How's it going guys? It's the Pixelated Pumpkin, and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be ranking all the Spirit Halloween 2019 season animatronics from worst to best. I know I already saw a lot of other YouTubers do this, but I actually had this video planned for a good while now, and I, I know it, uh, someone else was going to take it if I didn't do it, but obviously everyone's making these, it's fine, I don't really care if I'm not the first, so just don't get mad at me in the comments. And also, I just wanted to point out, I'm only reviewing the ones or ranking the ones I saw in person, so that means I'm going to be leaving Mr. Toots off this video, and I wouldn't really consider him much of an animatronic, but he just drives around and stuff, so I won't really be including him. And don't get mad at me in the comments, but this is just my personal opinion. If I don't like one of yours or I put it towards the last of the list, please don't get mad at me. And let me know your rankings in the comments below. Alright, let's get into it. Number 15. Coming in at the worst spot on our list, we got Arctic Dragon. Now, I don't like Arctic Dragon. I think he's pretty cool for what he is, but not for a Halloween prop. This would probably even work better for Christmas, but for Halloween, it's just not good. And whenever I think of dragons, I never really think of Halloween. So well, sometimes they make blow-ups for dragons and stuff, and it's just not cool. I don't think dragons should be associated with Halloween, and especially this prop considering its price. And I'd rather have seen Blood Brothers or one of the online-only props here instead of this Arctic Dragon. So that's why I'm putting it last on my list, and let's move into the next one. Number 14. All right. All right, hear me out on this one. I do like the Sam prop. I think he's one billion times better than the Arctic Dragon, but what kills it for me is his animation. All he does is move from left to right and move his arm. Kind of looks like Ma Michael Myers from last year, and I didn't really like that prop last year, even though I do like the Halloween franchise. But I think the thing where he can change out his heads, I think that's really unique and um really, really cool. So I really like that about him. But this may be a bit biased since I haven't seen Trick or Treat yet. I, I do plan to see it eventually, but I don't know. He just seems a bit small, a bit pricey, and all he does is just move from left to right and move his arm up and down. It seems very robotic, but I do love the thing that he can change out his two heads. I think that's very unique, and I would love to see that on more spirit props. Number 13. Coming in at number 13, we got the Graveyard Ghoul. Now, I like this prop a lot. I think it makes for a great graveyard prop, but it's a bit pricey for all it does. All it does is really move from side to side, lights up, which is pretty cool, and it and it really just it talks, you know, but I feel like this prop could be a lot cheaper, and I feel like I could find a similar prop to it much cheaper somewhere else, but I do really love this prop. Um, It had some great potential, but the price really just dragged it down, but... I do like it for what it is, and let's move on to the next one, shall we? Number 12. At number 12, we got Tortured Torso. Now, I really like this guy. I think that his movement is great. I think that his audio is great, and I just really like the way he looks. He looks creepy. He definitely looks like he was all tortured, and I just like a lot about him. But I don't really like how he's a zombie. I feel like they should have made him, like, a tortured guy screaming for help or something like that. But I feel like Spirit, or whatever company was making this, they went for the constant motion idea in mind. They just wanted to make this perfect for constant motion, and I love that they did this. I really think that this is just a perfect constant motion prop and probably the, one of the best constant motion props from this year. So, let's move on to the next one. Number 11. Coming in at number 11, we got Abandon Annie. I just love the idea they had here. Having her be from a normal old broken doll to all of a sudden having her face entire, almost entirely open up into huge jaws and, and having a whole different voice that sounds like a demon. And I also love the idea of her seeming normal and then just turning into something way different. I feel like if they did this to more prompts, they could make some really cool stuff. But I do absolutely love Ben and Annie. Her audio or dialogue is great but I feel like she could just have a bit more motion in her. But definitely the stillness of it definitely makes it feel like a real old creepy doll, which I have to appreciate. Let's move on to number 10. Number 10. Kicking off the top 10, we got The Collector. This is probably one of the coolest Grim Reaper animatronics I've seen from Spirit Halloween in a long time. 
I really like how he has his bag, and he's going out collecting the souls of people, which just perfectly matches the idea of the Grim Reaper character. I also like how how he moves from side to side, and his animation is pretty good. Even though it's not groundbreaking, and he doesn't do much, it's still pretty cool considering his size and the whole idea of him. Number 9, down to single digits, number 9, we got Bloodthirsty Betty. Now, the reason why I'm putting her in this spot is because the jump scare by her is a little weak. I'm not gonna lie, she is the best wall animatronic we've probably ever seen from like almost any company ever. But I do really like her, and I like her two motions where she vibrates in the beginning. That really adds to the whole idea of her. And I like how she pops up. I think that's great. Number eight. Coming in at number eight, we got Pennywise, the dancing clown. I love it. It's probably one of my favorite horror movies of all time. And I just love this prop. I love the motion it has. I love how it pops up. I feel like it just adds so much to it. But I feel like they could have done a little more. Maybe have him in one hand holding his balloon and the other hand holding maybe Georgie's boat. I feel like that would add something pretty original to it. But we have seen better Pennywise props from other companies. But this one is great this year. Probably my favorite licensed prop of all time from Spirit. So let's move on to the next one. Number 7. Coming in at number 7, we got Demonic Dahlia. Demonic Dahlia is a very, very, very good jump scare prop a lot of people could get scared by her if you stick this in your haunted house somewhere and i think it just really adds to the tone if you're going through for a possessed theme or something like that i really feel like it's good but she only has one audio line it'd be nice if like maybe instead of i told you to stay away they could have like maybe like two other things but have the same scream and jump scare sound so that's why i'm putting her at number seven number six coming in at number six we got the headless help He's a really cool and creepy ghost prop. I really like him. He seems like he would be from a haunted mansion or something. His animation is his mouth and his eyelids, and I really like the attention to detail in his eyelids closing. I really like it. I think it's really nice. Um, he also says three phrases, but there's something really unique about him. There's a microphone that comes with him, and you could talk into it yourself, and an audio would come from it to what you're saying, and I think that's really unique and really cool. Number five. Kicking off the top five, we got Waving Wally. Waving Wally is a very cool and awesome and very disturbing waving clown prop that has the vintage look to him, and I think he just looks very realistic and very creepy. I really like this prop. The animation is pretty good. I like the waving, something pretty unique for an animatronic like this, and I feel like this guy could is so realistic that he could be literally a real clown in person, because I feel like... This guy could be a real clown kidnapping children for malicious reasons. I really like him. He's very realistic, and this is why I put him in my top five spot. Number four. Coming in at the number four spot, we got Experimental Eddie. Experimental Eddie is a really awesome, a very electrical, Frankenstein-esque prop. I really like his twitching motion. I love the blue LED lights that flash on and off in the wires. And just the overall way he looks. I love the whole Frankenstein look he has. And I feel like this is a really cool original prop. It was one of the first ones, I'm pretty sure. And it was definitely one of my favorites for ever since I first saw him. I love all the wires sticking out of him. So that's why I'm putting out my top four spot. Number three. Claiming our number three spot, we got Rusty. Rusty lifts up his chainsaw and screams wildly as you can hear buzzing and a female scream in the background. Though he may be very similar to the Sin Scare Scarecrow, I love him. I think the whole idea of of this guy being a chainsaw butcher, I just like it. It's I love his chainsaw. I, th- I really like the theme they were going for here, and that's why I'm dropping him in the number three spot. Number two. Taking out our number two spot, we got Crouchy the Clown. Now, when I first saw him on the sneak peeks, I wasn't too impressed. It just looked like another clown prop to me. But when I saw him in person in the store for the first time, I was just blown away about how, by how massive, just ginormous he is. This guy's a giant towering over like every single other prop in the entire store. And I love the whole clown look he has. He has, it's not that realistic, but it's cartoony enough that it just really sends chills down your spine seeing him. I like the whole like, just 
black and red theme he's got going on, and that's why I'm dropping him in the number two spot. And now finally, my number one favorite Spirit Halloween prop of 2019 is... <laughs> yep, Jack Straw. Jack Straw is definitely the best and my favorite for this year. I, I love the whole farm and scarecrow and you know all that stuff if perfectly matches halloween in my opinion with pumpkin patches and all that stuff this is why he is my favorite for this year and personally i love jump scare props they probably have some of the best animation out of like any other animatronics that are on sale on the market so that's why he's coming in at number one thanks so much for watching guys i really appreciate you watching this video make sure you subscribe and hit that like button let me know your list in the comments below. Um, sorry for leaving out Mr. Toots and and the on and the online only props. I'm thinking about maybe making a second video rating all of the online only props, but since I get to see him in person, I can't really give my honest opinion or honest ranking on it. So I was only including the ones I saw in person today. But nonetheless, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Pixelate Pumpkin signing out.